doctor. And so we all better realize that we're part of something very serious and we should all operate like this is our last day on air, our last article we're writing, our last video report where we're really trying to lead people out of the new world order. We're really trying to wake folks up. And this is a huge epic battle. So God bless you, David Knight. Appreciate those kind words. And, I, and I've told David, now haven't I told you, David, that, uh, you know, out of all these reporters, they're all doing a fabulous job. I'm trying to groom people who I think are smart as I am or smarter to continue on because I could die in a car wreck, David. So we've, we, we've set things up regardless uh, and have contingency plans to continue this operation. Uh, I don't know how many times have we discussed that, David. We're switching with Jakari right now. Once David gets back next week, we'll talk about some of that in studio. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, the video is up on Infowars.com uh, and PrisonPlanet.com. But please, I don't care whatever the cost is to me personally or to me physically. I care about stopping the abortion of the partial birth abortion babies. I care about stopping putting cancer viruses in the vaccines. I care about getting the fluoride out, stopping the geoengineering. I care about having a future for my children and your children. And, and there's no half measures here. We either tell it like it is or the enemy wins. You don't eat around the edges of this. This is so evil, we've got to stand against it. Um, we have two big specials running right now that are great products and then also finance this, this, this key operation. Brain Force is an amazing brain pill with like, what is it, 10 or 11 different ingredients that are, uh, you know, just um, personally for me, they've done amazing things. So one of the ingredients is prescription in Europe. You can read all about it and find out why. There's a lot of brain enhancement supplements and things out there, but this simply is amazing. Brain Force available at InfoWarsLife.com. You can read the rave reviews right there on the site. Uh, also, DNA Force that has one compound in it that is $40,000 a kilo. So, again, read all the facts for yourself. It's 20% off right now. Very expensive formula for us to put together. The most expensive product we have. Child Ease, uh, again, has been made for over 20 years by one of the top organic manufacturers in the country. We just tweaked some of it to make our own formula and branded it Child Ease. It's got a bunch of natural herbs and compounds that uh, I found help focus me and help me sleep better, but also calmer. Uh, it's it's a really amazing product, and your purchase, bottom line, funds the broadcast. Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine is a game changer. Iodine from the good halogen family. You, you, you've heard us break it down. You've heard us you know, get into the fact that if you don't have iodine, you die. Iodine deficiency causes all sorts of problems. See the informational videos. Read more at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. And best we can tell, they, they, our sources wouldn't say, it looks like the attack may be against the supplements. But we've got two of the top lawyers, I mean, the top in the country, who certify everything we say. We don't make claims. Uh, we just talk about what's personally happened to us. We talk about the basic science of, of, of nutrient deficiencies, things like that. It, it may be they're coming after that to try to shut down some of our funding. But I, I can go just direct to appeals to the audience to donate dummies and... Uh, I mean, you're not shutting us down. I mean, I predict if they actually try to take us down, it'll triple our revenue. I don't want that to happen because I don't want to be uh, distracted with it. And it can be very distracting. That's why I haven't sued MSNBC saying lies about me and stuff just because I don't have time to mess with it. I guess I quote a good Jesse Ventura quote, don't have time to bleed, but that's certainly true. So X2 is selling out. Um, Knockout is back in. Great sleep aid. Certainly works for me. Has... Nine of the known compounds like valerian root and things like that. We have the Prostagard that has uh, a bunch of other amazing products in it, not just the Saw Palmetto. So find out more at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And we can only run this until October 1st. Uh, the highest quality uh, storable foods recently you know, packaged, very fresh from My Patriot Supply. The special is dubbed InfoWars Select because by it being private label, we can even go below what their lowest prices are. So if you want to get storable foods, now is the time. The Mega Protein Kit is excellent. Six-month supply, year supply, month supply. These are the lowest prices you will ever find. Uh, the Protein Mega Protein Kit's normally $127, and that's discounted. It's $99 right now, uh, and there's no reviews of that. We need folks to get in there. I guess we have a sh people are just now getting it, so uh, all the other areas obviously do have reviews. 
Uh, but InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, or 888-253-3139. All right, let's shift gears now to Jakari Jackson. Jakari Jackson is in front of the new Liberty Tower, where the World Trade Centers uh, were based before the events of 9-11. It's been following a bunch of powerful video reports. Uh, Jakari Jackson, what's front and center uh, in your observance uh, of the fiasco with the Pope? Jakari Jackson reporting from New York, New York. And as David touched, you know, we are watching, uh, while we're having our lunch break in a pizza parlor, the speech at the World Trade Center. And it's all these world leaders together of world religions. And on its face, you know, it does sound like a good thing. You know, everybody's coming here into unity. But if you go for a one world religion, it's not going to be one world Christianity or one world Islam or Hindu or anything that your religion may be at home. It's going to be this, uh, you know, gumbo soup, all these different things mixed in trying to create a uh, politically correct religion. And that's something that is prophesized in the book of Revelations, and people definitely need to be abreast of that as we go forward. So out of the things I've heard uh, so far while we've been covering over these past few days, that's probably the most interesting thing to me. But, Alex, I guess uh, we're going to the break here, but talk some, some about the reports that we've been filing. Yeah, talk about those earlier. amazing reports. Yes. Earlier this morning, we started out at the U.N. building, you know, as we expected, uh, police blockades for several blocks in every direction. Uh, David and I split up temporarily so we could cover as much ground as possible. And while I was standing out there, you know, documenting all the things that were going on, the police blockades, the back checks, all these type of things, uh, actor Daniel Craig, you know, James Bond, I was standing there and I was like, that guy looks like, J that is James Bond. And he walks over and I'm just, you know, watching him and I just, you know, go for it. I say, Mr. Craig, what do you think about the Pope being in town? He said, oh, it's great or, or something like that. It's very low uh, audio, whisper it pretty much to me. And now he was walking towards the, the, the uh, UN center. I'm not exactly sure if he went in, but he was moving around in that direction. But at the same time, there are many hotels or other places he could be going over there. And then David was out there getting some great footage as well, talking to the people. Many people came out to see the Pope. Uh, thus far, the majority of the people that we've met, you know, have positive feelings about the Pope. But every now and again, we run into somebody who says, you know, I'm not exactly sure about, you know, what the agenda is. And it's not just about the Pope, but about the United Nations, about all these other world leaders that are coming in here. And it's like, I think there's more to this than uh, is on the surface of this whole deal. And then yesterday, while we were still in D.C., we were asking people, you guys may have saw the video of David did talking about the worship service for the earth. They yes. had, you know, a lot of uh, big, well, I don't say big, but they had a lot of uh, musical acts out there. And David was telling me that, like, they expected the numbers to be in the thousands. There's maybe a thousand people out there. You know, of course, uh, David. 200,000. Okay, so they anticipated the numbers for this uh event to be 200,000. Of course, there are many people at the Capitol, but at this musical event, you know, there's maybe a thousand or so people out there to hear this message of climate change. Everybody's saying that, oh, we have to do this for the earth and name dropping Leonardo DiCaprio and all these other shenanigans that were going on out there. But people need to realize, just like the people I talked to. All right, Jakari's Skype just broke up as we're going to break. We're going to come right back with him and have him finish that important point. Uh, but John Boehner is resigning uh, at the end of October. He announced today a big victory. Some of the other news, Ontario moves to ban the term mother and father on government forms. Next, they're going to ban it in school. More schools ban any type of contact sports. This is the prison state. All right, Jakari Jackson joins us into the next segment. Then Rob Dews hosting the full fourth hour. After that, from uh, 8 after, he'll cover the Pope's fake environmentalism. They've got the reports from Jakari Jackson and David Knight. They've been filing. We're going to air those. The immigration hypocrisy, we told you the Pope girl was staged. Uh, well, the police lead her up there. It's totally staged. They just lie and say she broke through. And a lot more coming up uh, with Rob Dew, our news director, hosting the fourth hour. Salon's written a couple articles last week about pedophilia and pedophiles being nice people. Um, so I'm very proud that they've attacked me again. Alex Jones' wild-eyed Pope Francis attack breaking down the shock jock's latest unhinged conspiracy theory. And they say I'm wrong. The Vatican doesn't own the most land. It's the third biggest owner of land with 177 million acres. Well, yeah, I said Queen Elizabeth's number two and the Saudis number three. I've seen different numbers than you, and the Vatican admittedly hides a lot of its wealth, okay? So the point is they got 177 million acres and trillions and trillions. They can take all the illegal aliens and pay for it, which they don't, instead of telling me I need to. Okay? That's what I said. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of communists. Always big rich people want me to give my money to poor people so they can be their slaves on some global plantation clowered piven.
Jakari Jackson, you got cut off by the break, my compadre. Uh, just, just as a person, what do you make of this? I mean, the, the media has gone from attacking Catholics most of the time because they were conservative to just drooling over this guy. Uh, I mean, are you going to break down and cry if you see him? Oh, absolutely not, Alex. Like uh, Dave was talking about the other day, how we were watching Fox News, and they just would not say anything negative about the Pope. And I'm not saying you have to attack the guy, but just uh, Catholicism, you know, everybody, they had all these Catholics on to talk about how great it is. And like I said, it's not bashing Catholics. It's just like this one singular, we will not say anything negative about this guy. You know, just like they'll say yeah, something negative say about Yeah, don't say anything about Obama. Jim Jones. It's a cult. Yeah. I mean, would you agree that clearly he's, he's becoming a cult leader? I say the way people react to him is a very cultish way. Like I said, they will not criticize the man for any reason. They won't talk about the private planes or the Vatican or the walls. And just like you were talking about with all the immigrants, if they want to house these guys in the Vatican or in the White House or in some other facility, more power to them. But they're not doing that. They're sending them to little towns in South Texas and other places and telling those people to pay for them when they're encouraging them to come over. And, of course, yes, we know the U.S. has a lot of uh, hand in why people are fleeing these countries. But the U.S. needs to own up to it and stop going over to those countries in the first place and messing them up. And if they stop doing that, we wouldn't have half the problem that we have. I think even... Uh, the leader of Assyria came out of Assad and he said, the U.S. is the reason so many people are fleeing Syria. And he does have a point when he brings that up. He's absolutely right. But most of them are invaders that came into Syria wanting to take over and get new houses and steal swimming pools, literally. And so they're now being kicked out. So we're getting a bunch of jihadis from all over the Middle East. I mean, 76% in one wave, 90 plus percent in another are military age men. It turns out they're mainly jihadis. And so this is the defeated Al-Qaeda army uh, coming into Europe. Uh, Jakari, stay there back in 70 seconds. Some stations don't carry it. Infowars.com forward slash show. Spread the word about the broadcast. We are winning. And pray for us. We need those prayers. Final segment that I am honchoing, captaining. And then we're going to have Rob Dew in the radio slash TV studio, the original studio, hosting the fourth hour. Jakari Jackson, you got cut off by the break again, my friend. Uh, you were uh, getting into, just if you have logic, this guy that represents an organization worth hundreds of trillions, 177 million acres we know of, not mentioning Vatican company subsidiaries, more like 300 million. But I've done my research, and they have debunking articles going, he's the, th it's the third largest owner, not the first. I mean, Oh, you know, you're discredited, Alex. Uh, well, uh, my point is they're not taking any of these, quote, immigrants or migrants that that in, in, in Syria would chop a Catholic's head off. I mean, this is sick. Go ahead. Oh, like, just like you said, they, they want everybody else to take care of people that they're encouraging to come to various countries. And as I said in the last second, yes, some people have a very legitimate reason for fleeing. But when you have people like the Pope, like Obama, who are encouraging them to go to certain places, it's really ultimately their responsibility to take care of those people, especially people like Obama or other people who are going into other countries and causing a conflict in the first place. And it's not just Obama, you have things with uh, with the Bushes as well, so it's not just him. But we have a long line of this going into other countries, messing them up, and then saying, oh, we can come here because we want to use your Yeah, and the very same practice. politicians and the globalists that did that and that want our guns and then advertise the free anchor baby stuff are the ones destabilizing the country, shifting gears because it's a big story. I had one informant who's well-known threatened me then I had another FBI agent warn me about a year and a half ago. I told David and a few people about it privately. And then I had another high-level source say, no, I talked to somebody on the high level in the task force that they've been ordered by the White House to find something. And, uh, I mean, so this is real. This is going on. And I, I guess it's what we should expect in this corrupt country. But, man, Jukari, what's your take on the news about uh, Obama plans to shut down news organization if he can? Well, I definitely can understand they're looking at us because they want to take us down. Just like I was there a couple of years ago, I think it was when I'd been there about three or four months, and the Secret Service shows up talking about something uh, some guy wrote in a comment section on Planet Infowars, I believe it was. Just any excuse they can to come after us, they come after us, and now like I guess they're coming after the, uh, the products line because they couldn't come after you any other way. So even if this falls flat, I wouldn't be surprised if they come after us again, but they know that a lot of... You know, when we come out and we expose things uh, the Obama administration is doing, going back to the Bush administration and the Clinton administration, it's not just picking on one guy. That really makes these people nervous to know that we're out there putting out this information. And then people can backtrack and they can see uh, other uh, predictions that you made that came true. Like before I started working for you, Alex, I went back and watched some of your old like Mike Hansen archives type stuff. And I saw you out there talking about how streetlights were looking at people. I'm like, oh, that's not true. And now 
streetlights on every corner. And you said uh, your cell phone and all these other things are going to be spying on you. And then was on CN 